Right, here we have it, and just as I promised, we're doing Game of Thrones Episode 1, because today I'm going to do one look, and next time I'm going to do completely different look. Doing Game of Thrones look, it's gonna be very simple, very straightforward, few easy steps, and it's gonna look like money. Before we start, I want to say special thank you to Raw Film for providing this amazing stock footage. Be sure to check them out. First thing first, I'm gonna be working with Aces today. I really love how Aces works with Alexa and Red in particular. I think it's just a very beautiful combination. So DaVinci YRGB in a color management, let's go to Aces CC and our output Rec 709. So let's click save and we basically have basic Rec 709. So as of right now, the image looks ridiculous. So I'm going to do steps from my previous tutorial. If you haven't seen it, guys, make sure to check out link above in the card. We're going to start following those steps to get the final look. So first, what I'm going to do, I'm going to balance the image. So let me do my reference image really quick. And I'm going to pull full scopes right over here. Okay, waveform is fine. So we can see based on the waveform that this image is very underexposed, kind of very dim. And my image over here is super bright. So what I'm going to start doing is just cranking it down completely using offset wheel. Okay, more, 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 more. Okay, let me go over here and check it out. I probably can increase it. Okay. All right, so that looks fantastic. That's amazing first step. Second note I'm gonna create, I'm gonna do basically balancing the color temperature. So I'm gonna go over here in the temperature, I'm gonna start cranking it down. And with the tint, I'm gonna start increasing the tint because I think originally the tint was not really right in this image. So something like that until image looks kind of cool and correct to me. And again, I'm gonna drop a little bit of temperature. So, so far that looks fantastic. I really like it. Let's do really quick before and after. And if we're gonna compare, we can see that we start getting there. So next one, I'm gonna do color. And in this color node, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take all the saturation out from this particular shot. So let me show you really quick. Uh, let me go to here, a vector scope. We can see that this shot is relatively very saturated. However, if I'm gonna go to the reference image, we can see there's a barely any color in it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use saturation slider and just start cranking it completely down until we have similar kind of look, okay? So we getting there, we're almost there actually. Let me hide those clips and let me make window a little bigger so you guys can see. All right, so that's not bad. We actually almost kind of there. Now I'm gonna do look based on that. And the look is gonna be very simple. I'm just gonna look at the vector scope and we're gonna see that we kind of between green and cyan over here. So what I'm gonna do, very simply, just use offset wheel and kind of pull down a little bit. Okay, something like that. So we can see things shifted a little bit. So now I'm gonna go back to saturation and I'm gonna take out a little bit more saturation. Okay, so that looks really good. We actually, we're like 90% there. So what I'm going to do now is click Alt L. I'm going to convert it into layer node. 
And with the layer node, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the skin right over here. Okay. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Perfect selection. Let's blur it out a little bit. Okay. And now with the slider, I'm just going to give it a little boost. Not too much. Just just a tiny bit. But I don't want to... We don't want to be too crazy. Okay, really quick before and after. We can see that's a little bit too much, so I'm going to use note key. Go all the way down and just have a little kick. So we kind of can see like a flesh tone. So technically that's about it, but I want to do a little bit extra. I want to make the shot a little bit more cinematic, a little bit more adventurous. So what can we do? Well, we have big area over here big blue area of kind of nothing so i want to add a little bit mystery to it how we do it i'm not a visual effects artist so what can we do in color to kind of add this little boost well very simple i'm going to do another note after this i'm going to go to mask and i'm going to use gradient mask and i'm going to place my gradient mask kind of sloppy just like this and what I'm going to do next, I'm going to go into contrast slider and I'm going to start decreasing the contrast. And as you can see, decreasing the contrast, basically it kind of looks like there is a little haze going on in this area. Okay, we can probably make it a little bit softer. Okay, and place it like that. So if we check it out before and after, we can see how we sort of fill that void and created something interesting that our eyes automatically go towards the actor and a horse. So I'm going to do another node. And this one going to be very simple. And I noticed they use this a lot in the Game of Thrones. So basically, we're just going to do a very rough vignetting. Okay. And with the midtones, kind of going to crush it a little bit. Okay. Just like that. And final note I'm going to do, I'm just going to add film grain. So 16 millimeter is no good. Let's do 35. And here we have it. Very fantastic. Very easy. Very simple. Let me do really quick before and after. Before and after. We can see how easy it is technically to color grade if the shot and location and everything working for you. So in the future, I'm going to be doing more videos about camera work, about photography. Next week, I'm starting a series of Photoshop tutorials. We're going to be doing from basic to very advanced things. So stay tuned. Hopefully you guys like the tutorial. Leave the comment below. Be sure to subscribe and the part two coming this week as well. Take care.